in the land of the living and I thank the Lord for that. I thank the Lord for, first of all, like I said, I was giving honor to the Lord, but I wanna give honor to my pastor, Bishop Melvin Mockmore and First Lady, Sister Sharon Mockmore. I wanna give honor to all the ministers, the evangelists, the elders, the deacons, saints and friends. I wanna give a special honor to my husband who has supported me in my endeavors and encouraged me. I thank the Lord for my mother. I thank the Lord for my daughter that came down from Blacklick, my sister and my nephew, I think he's still here, that came from Columbus. I thank God for all of his goodness. God has surrounded me with loving, caring people. And I thank the Lord for that. The scripture that I'm going to be coming from is from Psalms 121. Okay, everyone have it? Okay, let us read that together. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon the right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this hour and this time. We thank you for your goodness and your kindness. Lord, there is a word from you. Lord, I ask that you would speak, Lord. Move Joanne out the way. Hallelujah, and you just speak through me. Use everything there is about me, Lord, and let me deliver this word. Oh, thank you right now. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. Truly, as I look around at today, and we're living in such a difficult time. So much is going on. There's so much uncertainty, so much distrust, so much hate and pain. Every day you hear about people getting killed and people not regarding God at all, nor other people. They're doing everything seemingly that they are big enough to do. There are those that is calling right, wrong, and wrong, right. But God said, fret not thyself because of evildoers. Be not envious of the workers of iniquity. God is still in control. No matter what we see or even what we hear, God is in control. And this passage today that we're reading here is a very familiar passage and I think about David and when he was young and how the Lord had anointed him to be king. But king, the first king of Israel wanted him dead. He was jealous of David and he had to run to the hills and to the caves. He even had to live in the enemy camp to save his life. And anymore, we have to close our doors and lock our windows trying to be safe. We all have our hiding places. We're looking for a place where we can be safe. Sometimes we go through things and we don't know what the answer is or we can't move forward, we can't move back. 
we're just hiding in our safe place. The hills are not what we turn to. The Lord is the one that we turn to. But the hills are the safe place. What is your safe place? We all have our tests and trials and we realize that these tests and trials come to make us. But while we are going through our tests and trials, God is right there taking us through. The bishop has quoted so many times to us, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal the land. In order for our land in this day and time to be healed, we as God's people need to pray. We need to get on our knees and pray to the Lord that there be changes made in the high places. Oh, the President of the United States on down. Oh, they need prayer. There's things going on that shouldn't be going on, but God knows all about it. Yes, he does. We don't have to walk around afraid. We can put our trust in the Lord. We don't walk, have to walk around depressed and oppressed. We can put our trust in the Lord. Whatever it is you're going through, God can bring you through. Oh, he can take you through. Yes, he can. He's a great God and he's a mighty God. I think about how the Lord sent his only begotten son into this world for us. It was for our benefit that Jesus came and he died. Oh, I remember the story in the Bible how they said that the priest, the chief priest, and the elders and the scribes, they wanted Jesus crucified. He wasn't doing anything wrong. Oh, he was just doing good all over the land. But the chief priests and the scribes and the elders, they didn't like that. Uh, they said that we want him crucified. They'd rather have a thief or a killer in their midst than Jesus. Oh, what a warped sense that is. Who wouldn't want Jesus? Well, they took him to Pilate. And Pilate examined him and talked with him. And he said, I find no fault in this man. Oh, they, but Pilate, he wanted to please the people. So he gave in to the people. They took Jesus and they whipped him. Yes, they did. They whipped him. They beat him with many stripes, at least 39. They beat him. Uh -huh. He had done nothing wrong. Uh -huh. They beat him and every time the whip came down and back, out come his flesh. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. They beat my Jesus. Uh -huh. Yes, they did. Uh -huh. But they did that for our benefit. Uh -huh. It didn't benefit him. It hurt him. But he came down. Uh -huh. He didn't say a word. He didn't say a mumbling word. Each time they beat him, oh, he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. God is so good. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. Well, after they got through beating him, oh, they gave him over to the guards. Oh, the guards took him back. They took off his clothes and put a robe on him. Yes, they did. Oh, they were mocking him. They were abusing him. He had done nothing wrong. Oh, he did everything for our benefit. Oh, know where your help is coming from. God is so good. They put this robe on him. They put a crown of thorns on his head. Oh, they pierced him 
his skull with these thorns. Yes, they did. Hallelujah. Oh, they beat him. Oh, they abused him. After they put the robe on him, they did homage to him, mocking him and calling him king of the Jews. Yes, they did. They spat in his face. They spit upon him. They hit him in his face. They abused my Lord and Savior. Yes, they did. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, hallelujah. After they got tired of that, they put his clothes back on him. They tried to get him to carry his cross to Calvary's hill. There's another hill, Calvary's hill. And he couldn't take the cross up there. He was just too weak. Long come Simon and took that cross up to Calvary's hill. Oh, they nailed his hands to the cross. They nailed his feet to the cross. Hallelujah. Glory. Yes, they did. They nailed his head and his feet to the cross. Yes, they did. They put it between two thieves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even the thief knew he shouldn't be there. Hallelujah. My God is a great God. He didn't say a mumbling word. He took everything they put upon him. He did it for our benefit. The reason why we are here today is because of what Jesus did way back over 2,000 years ago. Oh, they put him in a tomb. Yes, they did. Oh, he gave up the ghost. Yes. But Lord, have mercy. In three days, in three days, ah, he rose again with all power in his hand. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, grave. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? What a mighty God we serve. Who wouldn't want to serve this God that we serve today? He's alive and well. Yes, he is. There's a scripture that said, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Another scripture said, I was young, but now I'm old. And I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor is seen begging bread. Oh, this poor man cried, and the Lord delivered him from all of his fears. Who wouldn't want to serve a God like this? Everything that we see going on today, that God is able of. He can do exceedingly and, and uh, wondrously more than what we could ever ask or think. Uh, these things that's going on today, uh, you have to pray about it. Uh, you have to seek God about it. Uh, if you got sickness, uh, seek God. Uh, oh, trouble in your home, uh, seek God. Uh, know how to get down on your knees uh, and pray to him uh, and say, Lord, uh, deliver me from this thing. Uh, oh, he's a right now God. He's able to do exceedingly abundantly more than what we can ever ask or think. Uh, who would want to serve this God? He's mighty. Yes, he is. I love him with everything that's within me. I love him and I thank him for mercy and grace. Uh, the blood that he shed uh, over 2,000 years ago uh, is still good today. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, hallelujah. God is good. Uh, oh, he's merciful and kind. Yes, he is. Uh, I love him and I thank him. I thank him for having mercy on me. Uh, I thank him for saving my soul. Uh, I thank him for the Holy Ghost that abides deep down within. Uh, without the Holy Ghost, you can't make it without God you can't make it this world has nothing for you no they don't they're looking for an answer themselves what you have to do is turn to Jesus oh hallelujah he wants you to know that he loves you he's waiting to hear from 
of you. He's waiting for you to get down on your knees. He's waiting for you to call on his name. My God is waiting for you. Oh, call on the name of Jesus. My God, I love him with everything. Everything that he did. Oh, everything that he did. He did it for us. Oh, hallelujah. And then after he rose from the dead. Oh, after he rose from the dead. He wasn't through yet. No, he wasn't. He sent another comforter. Oh, he knew he wouldn't be with us. Oh, but he sent this comforter. This thing called the Holy Ghost. Oh, this keeper. Oh, this Holy Ghost. He sent it and every one of us each and every one of us is a gift you don't have to buy it oh it's not for sale it's freely given to those who ask the Lord Bible said repent oh, become godless sorry and this Holy Ghost is yours yes it is it's a keeper it's a deliverer hallelujah we're going through things we see everything going on oh but know where your help comes from. No God. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly. More than you can ever ask or think. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Hallelujah. I was young. But now I'm old. And I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Hallelujah. Nor has seen begging bread. God is good. Yes, he is. All the time, he's good. No one will help comes from. No who has your, your best interest at heart. No who holds your hand. No who you can depend on. And that person is Jesus. No Jesus for yourself. Oh, it's the best thing that you could ever do. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. In this world, with so much going on, so much killing, oh, so much unrest, so much uncertainty, there's comfort in knowing Jesus. Know where your help is coming from. Hallelujah. 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 